Good evening, everyone. This is Heather here in Giving Tree Trading, and I wanted to share with you how to upload a shared item in Thinkorswim. Oftentimes, you'll hear us talk about a ThinkScript link for a scan or a study, and this is how you take that ThinkScript link and upload it. If you click the PDF here below, you will also see some written instructions quickly on how to, um, how to do this. All right, so first of all, let's start with you received a link, and it's going to look something like this, and it can be a study, an indicator, a watch list, a workspace, all kinds of things that you can share here in Thinkorswim, but it'll look like this. So what do you do then? Well, you copy the link. You go down here. You can copy it like this. Just copy, right? Copy the link and then what you want to do is go up here in setup. So this is in the upper right hand corner. Go to setup, click it, move down to where it says open shared item. So you're going to click that and then this open shared item box will pop up. So you can go ahead, copy your or paste your shared item, hit preview. It's going to show you what that is and I just use my workspace here as an example and then you can click open. Now the next thing that you'll receive is this little box here and it'll say that it has been shared. I recommend because it'll say it's just been shared for me it doesn't tell you exactly what it is go ahead and rename it and then you'll get this. And then you can put in here whatever it is you want to be. Um, I know it's my workspace, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, just type in training link so I can go I, I can go back in and take it out. So you go ahead, you hit that, you hit OK, and now it is saved in there. So a couple different things. If it is a study, you're going to go right up here to this flask and then you can look it up. Whatever the study is. Now the workspace I shared is not a study so it won't pop in here but I have other study links in here and so I'm just going to go ahead and type in um, let's do buying and selling. Okay so I have a shared buying and selling that is what is at the bottom of my chart. It's not the bottom of this one, but the bottom of my volume will have the green and red to show uh, selling and buying. And so I would just click it and hit OK. You can uh, add, sorry, click it, add selected, and hit OK. So for if it's, a, if it's any kind of study or anything, this is where you would go to add it. Now, if you're adding um, a scan to a watch list, that's like what I have here. These are all my watch lists. You simply go down to the bottom. Um, let me get rid of one here for you. Here we go. Okay, so you can only have a certain number of watch lists here, and I exceed that all the time. But so you go down here, you hit the, the plus sign. It'll give you all these options. Go to watch list, and now you want to actually scan for something and not just have the watch list. So you go into the center part where it says default, and then you choose which scan you want it to be. Now, you can. there's lots of different public scans in here. You can use those. If you've saved a scan, you just go into your personal scan and, um, and add it from there. So you would go in. Do, do, do. Move down here. Boom. And then it will auto populate. Just be sure to save your workspace when you sign up and you are all good. All right. I hope that is helpful for you. If you have any questions, be sure to send me an email and I will get back to you right away. I hope you have a fabulous day.